Oh, the first one is a wheat scent? No way, why would that be on the surface? Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's video was made of a bunch of smaller hunts that I did when I could get out this year. It's kind of been a tough one. I had the heart attack in April and we've had a midsummer drought and now a fall drought where I can't get into people's lawns or I tear them up. So I've been uh, getting content where I can. I just wanted to say I appreciate you very much for watching the little content that I did get out this year. And I know that next year will be a much better year. So thanks again for stopping by and enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to Southwest Wisconsin Metal Detecting. Today I've come out to a park and a ball diamond. I'll get you turned around here. At a real small community outside my hometown. Just thought we'd swing around, see what we could find. I had just started next to this shelter here and got a 26 signal. I already pulled it and cleaned it off, it's a modern dime, but good start. So we will be probably hitting the volleyball court over there, maybe a little bit of this ball field, and around the tot lots. So let's have a good time and see what we can find. We'll see you on the next good beep. Here I got a double tapper, which means it's shallow, probably just a dropped coin. So we will get down there, probably just find it with the probe. Oh, surface, surface find. Just a modern clad penny. On to the next beep. Well, this quarter's glaring so good, I didn't even have to swing over it. I saw it ahead of me. All right, bicentennial quarter. On to the next good beep. Well, I didn't get one step. I did hit this one with the coil. So I heard it, but I could see it. Fresh drop, another quarter. On to the next beep. Well, out of this shallow hole. Looks like we got a nickel this time. All right, let's get on to the next. All right, this one's a 21 to 23. A little jumpy. We will find out what it is, though. Hmm, seems to be a little big with the pinpointing here. But we will go after it anyways. <whistles> Looks like I missed it. It was pinpointing so long here. Well, that looks like a zinc penny. That's definitely not all I was chasing there. Let's see. Yeah, I'm still getting signals. That's why it seemed long. Because it was a couple zinc pennies. All right. I think we're done. Maybe not. It's a pretty strong signal. Well, chase down the dime. Got ourselves a little rosy. 
All right, 12 cent spill. On to the next. Well, got one here, shallow. 29.30, so that should be a quarter. Oh, on the surface. Well, I like it. On to the next good beep. Well, as you can see, I worked my way down to the tot lot from the shelter there. That's where I found most of the change. I have found a penny, a couple of pennies down here. This one here is probably going to be a quarter. 29.30. Yep. Awesome. Way better than 25 pennies. Let's get on to the next good beep. Well, I didn't get very far. Might be another quarter. I don't think I'm going to need the digger. Thought. 1989. We will take it. I think to get going on this spinning thing, and that's why they're spinning their money right out of their pockets. Huh. So. On to the next. Well, this one's uh, awful high pitched and it's going up to 33. It's going to be interesting. Uh, it's pinpointing goofy, large maybe. I'll come back if it turns out to be anything, but I don't think so. Well, shows you what I know. I just unearthed that shiny new quarter. We'll get that put away. Let's see why it was so large here. Well, I have no idea. But I will take that quarter on to the next good beep. Well, this one was coming up as a five, which is low enough. I could be, it's probably going to be foil, but it could be a ring. So we're going to do it live. Yeah, a little piece of aluminum foil. Swing it over my coil. Five, got it. All right, on to the next. Well, here in the tot lot, there's a 2021. Probably a penny. Yep, there it is. All right, on to the next beep. Well, I heard a double tapping at the bottom of another slide here. In the tot lot, and I could see it right away. Awesome. On to the next beep. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Southwest Wisconsin Metal Detecting. I'm Steve. 
Nice to see you again. Today, I am at a private beach and campground on the Grant River in Grant County. There's the river over there. They uh, do a lot of tubing here. And then they stop here, play some volleyball. They can also camp here. I called the owner, Ryan, and asked him if I could uh, metal detect here because a lady got a hold of me and said she'd lost a ring here. Um, she didn't know exactly where, so I'm going to be hitting everywhere. But I thought I'd start in this volleyball court. And I got a 2930 signal here. No, I actually saw it. Leave it to be a quarter. Yeah, that's been in there a while. Well, I have no idea if this place has been detected or not, but I was kind of hoping not. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Well, this is a great start. We'll get on to the next good beep. I just pulled this one out of the hole with my sand scoop. 22, probably a penny, but could be a sterling ring, which would be nice. And we'll have to go with the penny. All right, on to the next beep. Well, didn't find much on the beach here, so I decided to get in the water. And I'm right in the middle of the Grant River here. And I find, I've been finding some bottle caps and undesirables. But I had a 30 target, 930. And I think I saw a quarter in this one. Well, it looks like I might have poured it out. Get, there it is. So, finally on to something where the tubers are. We'll see if we could find some, uh, <clears throat> some rings or something out here. That'd be great. Let's get on to the next good beep. Well, I could see these sunglasses on the bottom. Wasn't quite sure what it was, but then when I shook it out, There you go. Maybe my wife will like them. Made in China. On to the next good beep. Well, I did find a ring. I think that's just a yin and yang, something like that. I think it might have been a spinner. Well, cool. A ring is a ring. We'll get on to the next good beep. Well, this one was coming up around 2930, which would be a quarter on land. I think it's probably the same in the water, and it was. Nice. Well, we'll get on to the next good beep. Well, we got a 1969 penny this time. On to the next beep. Hi, everybody. Well, it's been so dry in August and September here in southwest Wisconsin. I can't get any home permissions, but I've got a spot here where we'll see what people have dropped. They had the county fair here. This is where they had the rides. 
So we're going to swing around here for a while, maybe over near the concession stands, see if we can find anything they dropped. I'll get back to you on the next good beep. Well, I had one double tap in here, meaning it's right on the surface, which uh, is what I'm looking for because the ground is like concrete. Oh, the first one is a wheat scent? No way, why would that be on the surface? <laughs> 1951D, that is so funny. Hey, well, I'll take it. Coin older than me, and I'm 64. Awesome. On to the next beat. Well, this one might be a copper penny or a dime. Yep, it's a dime. Sweet. On to the next beep. Well, just a couple feet away, got another signal. And it's a penny this time. Starting to add up a little bit. That is doing well. On to the next beat. Well, this copper penny, I could see after I swung over it. Yep, 1974. They always sound so good. Much better than those zinc pennies. On to the next beep. Again, probably a nice copper penny or a dime. Huh. It's not, it was double beeping. Must be just a little bit buried here. gonna be it ah, Budweiser top boy that sounded good round and shallow on to the next beep well that one's double tapping real loud oh yeah Bright and shiny. Another, uh, we got a dime. On to the next beat. Well, another one I can see. And I swung over it, and quarter right on top. Beautiful. On to the next beep. Well, this one's probably a penny from last year because it's not. Super shallow, but it is shallow. There it is. All right, a little shield penny. Guess it hasn't been there too long. Being a zinc, it's not all eat up. <laughs> it's not all eaten up either. On to the next beep. Well, I'm getting a little redundant here, but it's going to be a copper penny or a dime. Or a ring. Huh. Wow. 
didn't see that coming. Got a little writing on it. Allen. I think that's Allen. By the way, it's chipped off. I think it was just uh, plated. Ah, it's too bad, but hey, a ring is a ring. There's a little writing on the inside, but it's flaking off. All right. Well, didn't plan on getting a ring today at the fairgrounds. So cool. On to the next beep. Well, we got a quarter hiding down here, I think. Most definitely. Wow, is that wind kicking up? I apologize again if you can hear that. Can't do much with a GoPro in wind. There it is. All right. My little Altoids box is getting filled up. Well, it's still a lot of fun. On to the next beep. Well, this one was double tabbing up the surface. I think I see it. Yep. Modern dime. I think it was shinier than the last one. All right. On to the next beep. Well, I'm going to call it a dime. Possibly, yeah, <laughs> now I can say it. Possibly a quarter. It's coming up a little low for a quarter. 1974. On to the next good beep.